Hi! The most highly anticipated film of the year is finally here! Superman has finally returned to cinema theaters. Now let's celebrate this and let's get this review started. <laughs> Essentially, this is a reboot because after Superman Returns came out, I mean, I don't hate that movie. It's whatever. I don't really care about that movie that much. It kind of made the Superman franchise go kind of even lower, in my opinion. But now, Warner Brothers has decided to reboot the franchise with Zack Snyder as director and Christopher Nolan, the director of the Dark Knight trilogy, as producer. David S. Goyle, the writer for Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, and The Dark Knight Rises to write The Man of Steel. Essentially, of course I was excited for Man of Steel, but I was really hoping that they were gonna get Superman right, do him justice. Because the, the only good two Superman movies that we've got was Superman 1 and Superman 2, and did they do it justice? I gotta say, they did it pretty well. This movie is pretty fantastic. Now let's talk about the big thing now. People are gonna be waiting for this here. Henry Cavill as Superman. Now how do I think about him as Superman? I gotta say right now, he is a really good Superman. He is already better than Brandon Routh as Superman and back in Superman Returns. Henry Cavill definitely brings, you know, a new fresh take on the character. I can really see him as Clark Kent and as Superman. I really think that he did a great job. Now, Russell Crowe was really, really, really good as Jor-El. Now, Marlon Brando played Jor-El in the original Superman movie. And he was good, but he asked for a lot of money. And he, by all means, I don't, I don't, I liked his performance, but to me, it was just for me. Some people will have a different take on it, but in my opinion, I felt that he was kind of boring. He didn't bring anything great to the character. Then we got Amy Adams as Lois Lane. She was really good in it. Remember the old Lois Lane in the old Superman movies? Well, she was fine in the first two, but in the third one, she was hardly in it. The fourth one, whatever. And Superman Returns, she wasn't a great Lois Lane either. But Amy Adams definitely brought something new to the character, as well as Henry Cavill did with Superman. Everyone brought a fresh new take to the character, and I really like her role in this one more than I did in any of the Superman movies. Lawrence Fishburne is in this movie, and he is the boss of the Daily Planet. I think Lawrence Fishburne did a great job. He was really good in this movie, and I really enjoyed his role in it. Then we got Kevin Costner playing Clark Kent's father, and Kevin Costner did a really good job. He's a really good actor. He's not in the movie so much, but for what he was in, he was really good in this movie. And then we gotta talk about Michael Shannon as General Zod. How was he? He's a really, really good Zod. I don't think Michael Shannon was known he was filming at all because he was really good in this movie. He was definitely menacing. And what I like about though, villains who have a purpose. There's a reason why they're doing all this and he has a purpose. And that's what I really like how they did with Zod. You know, he's just not some maniac who wants to destroy everything. He has a reason why. The visuals are impressive. I felt that I saw Superman flying. I, when I saw him come to the screen, I was like, <gasps> he's gonna hit me in the screen. I think this movie definitely is the Superman movie we've been waiting for because there's been a lot. I mean, the first two are still good. Let me tell you this right now. Sure, the old films are back in the 70s. Sure, they're outdated. But this one, Man of Steel, is a fresh new take it to Superman. It's supposed to make people care about Superman again. And this film does it really well. The whole crowd was into this film. And I gotta say, I was into it too. I loved Man of Steel. I really liked it. Writing is good. The acting is good. The pacing was really good. Some people was like, oh, Superman's gonna be boring. It's not boring at all. You're gonna be entertained from the start to finish of this movie. And I gotta say, Hans Zimmer is a master of making scores. He, the, the whole film, every time there's like his score comes on, you're just into the movie immediately. Overall, for Man of Steel, fresh new take on the Man of Steel himself, Superman. It is really, really good. It's more of a realistic approach on it, sort of. <laughs> So that's my review of Matt of Steel, guys. If you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, then click right here to see more. 